Okay, y'all, just did my final delivery of the day. Shoot, I got quick, quick saying delivery drop off of the day. As far as with Lyft, this is like what my fifth day now. I'm starting to lose count because, like I said, I'm not trying to do this necessarily every day. I only want to come on when you know unique things happen, and you know, quite a few unique things happen today. So, today I worked myself up to doing 10. I worked myself up to doing 10 uh, drop offs today. I need to maintain an average of seven um, to darn going um, get to 100 by the first. Now, technically, I got all the way up to the 15th um, to make the goal, but I'm trying to get some bills and stuff out the way early. So, I got I got the goal set for seven deliveries a day. So first, a um, few earlier today, I got my first return um, driver. So I picked him up and took him to the YMCA. To the YMCA. YMCA. So I took him to the YMCA. The other ones weren't memorable. It was like, you know, regular drop-offs or whatnot. But yeah, that was earlier today. And then, oh my goodness. Child, I candy finally came into the car that was age appropriate. I said, okay. <laughs> you know, granted he was, you know, on the opposite end of the spectrum. He he was uh he was a brad, but you know, the D1 don't discriminate, honey. He, he, and he was going to the gym too. I was like, Lord D. <laughs> Keep your professionalism, girl. So that was interesting. Yeah, I didn't take a peek this time. But that bad one. <laughs> but yeah, he, you know, child. Mm, mm, mm. Now, they say you don't post to encourage bad behavior. But honey, if he would have ended that anything, child, he, he, he could have got it. Now, he wouldn't have got it on the clock now. We, we, we would have had, I, I would have still kept my professionalism. We would have had to end the darn going uh, ride early. And I would have got my darn going pay out a different type of way, honey. Ugh. Child, come on and turn into this Dunkin' Donuts. I hate when people darn going do that shit. It's like, turn your turn sitting on in an appropriate manner. That's how car accidents happen. Gonna stop right there, going knowing that several cars are right behind you. Ooh, that work that hurts my nerves, y'all. But anyways, honey, yeah, old Brad was looking quite darn on scrumptious. He he had to be like 25, 26, so he was very much age appropriate. The next round of people I picked up, not so much. Matter of fact, I just got my first person who sat in the front with me, and I was like, ooh. And that was only because it was three people this time. It was three boys that were like, uh, I put them between 16 and 19 years old. Although the third one could have squeezed his ass back there as well, but you know, I ain't say shit. And besides, they was going straight to Sleepy Hollow. I was like, okay, that, that's right, not too far down that way for me. So, dropped them off. And then I'm heading into the house, right, thinking that was it. I said, but damn. I'm ending off at ride number nine. It would have been nice to at least darn go and make it to ride number 10. And sure enough, as I'm going down towards my house, I get a notification for Fayetteville State University. And y'all know normally I can't stand Fayetteville State for deliveries, but I say, okay, this is a pickup though. So it might be different. And I'm noticing with the GPS, the GPS is a lot more accurate with pinning you directly to where your person is. Because, well, except for my last couple, though, I had a couple right before that were, one was white, the other one was like Indian or something, Hispanic. He was yellow tone. But anyways, I picked them up at the laundromat near the flea market, Brad Boulevard, dropped them off at the mall, and the GPS was off with them. But as far as um, Feather State, though, 
Honey, that darn on GPS navigated me all the way right to the Renaissance Hall. But it just had the building name. It just had um, Federal State University. But it pinned on his phone location directly towards where he was at. So I do like that compared to DoorDash. Be honey, it be drastic, y'all. Although, you know, Lyft has its issues too at times. Because y'all know the very first day, honey, I was two blocks off from where my darn old person was. So I'm glad that they done got it together in regards to that. But yeah, y'all, those have been my deliveries for the day. Dropping off many different teenagers out of the 10 people in my car today. One, two, three, well, 11 people. No, it's been more than 10, but see, the thing is, it's been multiple people in the car per ride. So that's why I'm losing count of the people. So 10 pickups, a total of like 14 people. Out of 14 people, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually half of them. So exactly half of them was like 20 and below. 21 and below. So yeah, I'm picking up a lot of youngsters, y'all. too many elderly folks. I've only picked up a couple. I picked up one older white lady yesterday. I picked up an older black woman to take her to the uh, K&W where she works. She was like 50s and the white woman was like her in her early 60s. Not too many seniors yet, y'all. But I've been getting a fair balance of everybody. I, I think I can say it, at this point in the game, I done picked about every type of demographic, orientation, um, age background per se that you can think of for the exception of, I haven't picked up an Asian person of any type of background. Well, except for the possible person that could have been Indian. I don't know, like I said, he was yellow. But I think he was more so Hispanic. But I haven't picked up no show enough Chinese, Japanese, Korean person. Have not picked up no Native American. But everybody else I don't picked up. Black, white, different shades, different hues, different ages, different orientations. Drop people off at the airport. But I ain't picked up nobody at the airport just yet. Uh-uh. I'm not trying to deal with that stress just yet. Because with the airport, I, I think there's a whole different protocol for that. Because it's like, I think you either got to be in a certain lineup with so many different Uber cars and whatnot. And then you got to get outside your car to make sure they can see you amongst all the other cars. Or you might have to go inside the airport and hold up a little sign saying, hey, this your Uber. It's like, or this your lift. I ain't trying to do that just yet. I know it probably pays out a little, uh, a, a great deal more, but honey, I'm trying to take advantage of taking, a, uh, getting all these little three, four dollar trips that nobody don't want because of the fact that it saves on the mileage, y'all. Because I know some of y'all saying, oh, this is going to burn on your car. You're going to be you know, driving like a thousand miles a week. Uh-uh, not if I keep doing these three miles here, five miles there. Actually, it's putting the mileage on my car that I normally would burn in a given month if I was driving like a regular person. Because y'all know, up until this point, I made it, what, seven months and only put like 5,000 miles on my car. So... It's really just making up for the lack of mileage that I actually put on my car because per year, this car is supposed to have up to 15,000 miles on it. And I'm nowhere near that. Next year will be a, a whole year that I've had this car. And to date, I've only have 8,000 miles that I've put on it. So, yeah. So, if I keep doing it like this, it's definitely not going to wear and tear on my car like that. I've only took that one trip because I felt sorry for old boy uh, that he was stranded in Fayetteville. So 
I took that one trip to Jacksonville. That's it. That, that ain't about to be no regular occurrence. Oh, hell no. So, the day out of 10 trips, I made $41. Ugh. Like I said, we're looking at the long game, honey. So, I'm up to 42 deliveries right now. So, I got 58 more to go. And I think the day's the 22nd, right? So, if the day's the 22nd, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Eight days left. Or is it 31 days in this month? So, let's say I got nine days left. Nine divided by 58 you're looking at like pretty much still like six point something something so pretty much i got to do like seven deliveries a, the day but the weekend is where it's busy and i don't know if that's going to be a good thing for me or a bad thing because at first it was like i'm starting to notice a longer time period before i start getting you know ride acceptances versus early in the week ironically it was back to back to back to back so i was like wait a minute now, why is it saying on the weekend that, you know, it's busier, but I'm getting less rival crisis? So, I'm thinking that the veterans are taking advantage of, you know, unlocking the bonuses and stuff by, because the, I noticed that the bonus, the upgrade to your levels and stuff is on the weekend. So, I guess it's more competition on the road versus in the weekday, not so much, but still, despite that, um, this is the most deliveries I've done throughout the day. Ten deliveries. So if we keep on with this trajectory, hell, I might darn going to be set a little bit earlier than I thought. Let me see. If I keep doing ten deliveries, let me see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, shall I be done by, oh no, six days. So I'll be done by the 28th, just a couple days shy of the first of the month but i will keep y'all updated feel free to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all soon with more videos